leasing. If you're a lessee and you're leasing an asset, you do not get legal title to the asset, but you control it. And as a result, you should recognize it on your balance sheet as an asset, and you should recognize the obligations to make those lease payments as a liability. Initial recognition, both is at the present value of the future cash flow. This is reflecting substance, faithful representation, because you do control the asset. So you've got a right of use asset. Even though you don't legally own it, you must show it on your balance sheet. And because you're recognizing the asset, it will be subject to depreciation. Because you're recognizing a liability, which has been measured at the present value of the future cash flow, you will be unwinding the discount. So going through the PL in future will be both a depreciation charge and a finance cost. And this is the requirement of IFRS 16. This is the requirement for lessees entering into a lease. Now there is an exemption if the lease is immaterial or if uh, the, the lease is for a very short period of time, you simply expense the rental, ex you simply expense the rental payment and you don't get involved in recognizing an asset and recognizing a liability. If you're going down the route, as is the default, as is the normal, but you're recognizing a right of use asset and you're recognizing a liability, then the rentals that you are paying are accounted for as deductions away from the liability. Because what goes through the PL is depreciation on the asset, and what goes through the PL is the finance cost. Leases under two minutes.